Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use HTML anchor links to link to a specific part of a page. Now, this could be the same page that you're currently on linking to a specific part of that page, or it could be linking to a specific part of an entirely different page. And like I said, we're gonna be doing this with something called anchor link. So let's go ahead and hop on into the tutorial here. Okay, uh, let me just show you what we're talking about here. So I have this web uh, blog post on my website, tonyteachestech.com slash WordPress security. And up here, I have pretty much like a table of contents uh, for this list post. Okay, so if you wanna jump down to number five, change the default admin username, you can click on this and it's gonna take you to that section of the page. Now, if you noticed, uh, the URL of this changed, uh, it pretty much tacked on this uh, hashtag or pound sign or number sign uh, and then change admin after that. So that took us to that section of the page, but how did it do that? You know, that'll work for any of these. If you're going to uh, number nine here, it'll take us down to number nine. Um, let me show you how this is done. Let's go to the, go to my WordPress admin dashboard, and I'm going to go to that actual blog post. So let me pull that up real quick for you. Okay, here we go. 10 easy ways to make WordPress secure. So we'll edit that. Um, here is our table of contents. And if we look at the underlying HTML code for that by clicking on this text over here, you'll see that these list items are composed of links as you would expect. And the links themselves contain an href with a value of pound sign, dollar sign, and then some name. Okay, so you can see that pretty consistently here. You have the this column of pound signs and then the, the name. Uh, but what is this name? This name corresponds to the ID of the element that we wanna go to. So our first header has an IT, our first header has an ID of plugins, and that corresponds to this pound sign plugins, okay? Uh, the second header has an ID of hide login URL with dashes. Uh, and I'm sorry, I must have missed one here. This is the second one, hide dash version, okay? So that corresponds to this right here, and I skipped, I skipped over two. Um, here's hide version, and then here's update. So basically, what I'm trying to say here is that the ID of the element, in this case, the header to element, corresponds to the a, a, the href pound name that you're linking it to, okay? So this is the ID, and that's where it links to updates, links to this ID right here, and hide-version links to this right here. So in reality, what that looks like, like we saw, uh, if we go back to, um, we'll open up a new tab and show it again, uh, you'll see when we hover over this link, down here in the bottom right hand corner, you can see the URL is going to change to tonyteaches.tech slash WordPress security slash pound sign plugins. Same thing for this one. You can go through all of them and see how that is just referencing the ID of the element that you're going to go to. Now, something specifically that I want to show you uh, that I referenced earlier in this video is linking to a specific part of another page, and it works exactly the same way. So if you go down here to number seven, actually do this, I, I link out to a specific part of another page, right? So um, by looking at the official WordPress documentation here, you can see in the URL in the bottom left-hand corner that uh, we're going to the official wordpress.org website and we're going to a page called Hardening WordPress and there is at the very end of the URL, we're referencing the ID of the element on that page that we want to go to. So if I click on that, we're gonna to go to that page and not only the just going to that page, we're gonna to go to that specific part of the page. And they have this cool feature on, on WordPress, the official website, wordpress.org, that you can um, see that, you can link to the specific page because they make it visible to the users without looking at the underlying HTML. So um, what I did when I came here was I, I copied the link address for this specific part of the page and uh, put it back over here as a link on my own, page, on my own WordPress website. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. That's how you use HTML anchors to link to a specific part of the page. If you have questions, let me know. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.